Hello everybody, it's Minecraft Gamer5 here, and today I'm starting a new series thing uh, where I show you how to uh, pretty much make an animation in Cinema 4D uh, or render. Um, first, I'm starting out with the basics, just like getting your world in there, getting the render settings and lighting and stuff like that. And then I might later do more advanced things like uh, particle emitters or making rigs and stuff like that. But for now, we're just going to do the basics. So. I don't really have a schedule or anything for this, I'm just going to randomly upload it when I feel like it. So, um, yeah. Sorry for the messy desktop. I tried to kind of clean it off, but I do have a lot of stuff that I do. But, um, anyway, let's get into it. So first, uh, let's make a world. So that's what this is. Um, first you're going to need uh, to make a world. So uh, you could use one that you already made, or you could download a world, like I downloaded one here. And we could put that in Cinema 4D, uh, but I'm just going to make a new world, so, uh, you know, I'll just call this a uh, tutorial world. Um, make it creative, and uh, you can make the world however you want, but I'm just going to create a new world. And, yeah, we have to let it load. Okay, so, uh, here's the world. Um... You could build something if you want. Um, it actually doesn't have to be a world, but uh, this tutorial is specifically how to make worlds. But um, you can use the stuff that I'll show you in future series or parts. Uh, yeah, I don't know. I'll just use this area right here. Looks pretty cool. There's like this little cliff thing. Never seen that before, but. Um, yeah, so I'm just going to fly around and load the chunks. Uh, you don't have to fly around a lot, just the area that you want. So I'll just go around like this. Um, they're pretty much just all loaded, but I'll just make sure. Uh, so there we go. And now we can do save and quit. And uh, we can close this. Now you're going to need to download Mineways. Uh, the download is in the description. So once you download it, you can just export it. And then open Mineways EXE, and uh, if you have a 32-bit computer, you can open 32. Uh, and then you do File, Open World, and uh, if this isn't there, uh, you could probably watch some other tutorial on how to find it. You could click Open and find your world, but um, File, Open World, and you want to find the world. So I named it Tutorial World, so I'm going to find that. Uh, it should be here soon. Tutorial World. And here's the little island that I was on. So, um, yeah, this is what we want. So, uh, you can select however much you want, but, uh, I'm gonna, it depends on your computer. Like, if you select a giant area, like this entire thing, uh, and your computer's not very good, it's gonna lag a lot. So, you might want to select a small area, but, uh, I have a fairly good computer, so I'll just select, uh, this area. So, um, you left click to move around and uh, you can right click to select the area so I'll just select this big area here uh, this will come up you can click yes or no whatever um, I'll just click no why not so uh, this thing this decides how far down it's gonna go so um, you can see if I do here uh, there's like no purple at all so that means it's not gonna get any of this but if I drag this down they'll start turning purple um, and with the water if you just leave it on uh, this one there's gonna be air under the water it's gonna look really bad so you might want to drag that down further uh, I usually just drag it to zero and there we go uh, also if you can't find the area that you were at you could go view jump to spawn jump to player uh, I don't know what jump to model does it's kinda weird uh, if you want a render in the nether, you could go view nether, or you could go view end if you want a, the end. So, um, anyway, uh, back to this. So, once you have the whole area selected, you do file, export for rendering. And uh, you can go anywhere you want. Uh, just make a new folder. And I'll just call it tutorial world c4d. And um, you go in the folder, and then you can do this whatever you want. So world, and uh, you click save, and you can just click OK here. And uh, I did a pretty big area. I probably shouldn't have done that. Uh, I might have to pause the video and redo it. We'll see. But uh, now it actually is done, uh, so I will close this. 
and here's the folder so uh, in here we got uh, world.mtl which we do not need uh, world obj and we have the textures um, so what you need is the world obj so take this and drag it into cinema 4d and this is going to come up uh, you want to make sure the scale is on uh, is at a thousand if you don't do that if you drag in like a steve model it's going to be huge or it'll be like really small if you do it uh, different than that so uh, make sure it's on a thousand and once you type it in once it should just be the default so next time you drop something in uh, it'll do that so just click OK and I did pick a pretty big world so it is taking a minute to load but there it is um, so here's our world and you do not want it to be gray uh, unless you do want it to be gray but I don't think you do so we want to add some color to this so select all the textures so you can either click on this first one and scroll down and hold shift and click on this one or you can do control A on the keyboard and it'll select all the textures but just make sure that you're down in here because if you do control A up here it's going to select all the blocks uh, we just want to select all the textures down here so go to uh, uh, color and right next to this uh, where it says texture there are three dots you click on that and uh, oh it's pretty creepy <laughs> that's that's pretty creepy um and we need to find the world so tutorial world should be here somewhere uh, am I on the desktop no I'm not uh, there it is tutorial worlds and uh, you select uh, you can select world RGB or world RGBA uh, I just select RGBA and now here it is so first of all you'll notice everything is really blurry even if you render it out and second the flowers do not have uh, they're not see-through there's just like this giant plus thing so we're gonna fix that so first the blur uh, go to sampling and turn that to none and that should fix it a little bit and then if you want to fix it more uh, turn off reflectance uh, you should always do those things and then uh, for the flowers you go to alpha and also it does it on the water and everything uh, so you go to the alpha tab up here that it creates so if I uncheck this it goes away but uh, you check it and you go to alpha and you select RGBA um, you shouldn't select RGB for the alpha but you can select RGB for color so do RGBA and again turn sampling to none and there we go so uh, if you zoom in on the blocks, you're going to notice that they don't look normal, but they actually do if you render it out. Um, if this really bothers you, uh, what you could do is go in editor and change this to uh, like, not that one, uh, 512, 512, and it will look more like in game, but uh, it doesn't affect the render at all, and it'll probably slow down your... Uh, it'll probably slow down like the editor it'll like lag so might not want to do that but if it really bothers you you could do that it's just something to know so here's our world um, that is pretty much it uh, I'm just trying to think if there's anything else um, if you wanted the leaves so they're not see-through you could just select the leaf texture or the leaf texture and turn alpha off and then uh, they will not be see-through but uh, you can turn it on if you do want to be see through. So that is how to import a world. Uh, next tutorial, I'll show you how to make a sky. And then uh, after that, you'll do like lighting and render settings and stuff like that. So yeah, that is it for this tutorial. Uh, I will see you next time.